Hello, Margo. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for uh, being here tonight. I'm really excited to have you. Thanks for having me. This is fun to be a Google. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so just wanted to <laughs> talk to you a little bit about your background and, and a little bit about your music, and then we'll get started. So uh, could you tell people about you that might not know who you are, um, about your music, your background? Sure. Uh, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, I come from a very eclectic family. My mother, who is Russian-German, and my father, originally from Jamaica, uh, and moved to the United States when he was 16. So he has an interesting story. And then they met in college and produced me, which is great. <laughs> I'm thankful. And uh, I've lived in New York for five years, working independently as a singer-songwriter and working as a songwriter for other artists and touring with other artists. Uh, I just finished Rent off Broadway and just closed in September and doing other shows in the meantime, but getting back to my music. So it's exciting. Cool. If you could quickly summarize your experience with Rent, how would you say that? Or what would you say? Life-changing. It was something that I will always remember, and I never expected it to be so hard to say goodbye. But mm. that family is such a huge family. Rent was such an unbelievable show that totally changed the face of musical theater for rock and, and everything, and changing the, the way that it's sung and the way that it it just looks to everyone. And as a kid, I grew up with that show. So it's kind of weird to be doing book reports when you were younger and then be in the show and sitting with the director and the writer's father and being, you know, invited over to family dinners. And it's just, it was life changing. Cool. Yeah, I was lucky enough to get to see you. Yeah, um, we had a lot of fun jumping out. around and <laughs> swinging from the rafters. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You did very well. Thanks. It was pretty good. Um, so let me ask you a little bit about Black History Month and what it means to you. Um, sure. We're here to celebrate that tonight. So um, just a little bit maybe more about your heritage and, and how you've celebrated over the years. I heard you wrote a tribute to Martin Luther King when you were 13. I did. That still is kind of relevant. So I, I think it's, it's really cool that, that you're here tonight. Um, it, was, it was really funny, uh, just to kind of touch on that story a little bit. Um, my mother and I were driving to Philadelphia uh, for a beauty pageant. And because uh, I, I really wanted to be a part of everything that they were a part of because they were doing a lot of fundraising and a lot of volunteer work. And I thought... That's awesome. I get to I get to do that all the time. That sounds like a great idea. I want to win this thing. So uh, so I went to Philly with my mom, and when we were in the car, I just got bored. And I used to write poems and songs every once in a while, but she she suggested that we just write a song. And I said it, she asked me, you know, what what's really important, and it happened to be Black History Month. And I was like, why don't we write it about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And she was like, that sounds like a great idea. So we sat down, well, obviously she was driving, but I sat down and, and just tried to brainstorm a little bit and she, she helped me kind of think and figure out my thoughts and process it and kind of put it into song form. And now it's played in every state in the US on his birthday, which is really exciting. And we did a whole video and I incorporated my high school and uh, we got out for the day, which was really cool as a kid to you know, kind of play hooky for a day in school yeah. and shoot my music video. And then that played along with the song and that kind of gave me like a little bit of a claim. Um, but it was all for the right reasons and it was, it was just because it meant a lot to me. And coming from such a uh, eclectic background with my ethnicity and my family and religion and everything, um, it was just really important to me to put out that message and, and know that it's still it's still really relevant, though it doesn't seem like things are so restricted now. Uh, we've come very far, but Definitely. I think that we still have many, many moons to go and before the, the face of color is kind of extinct. But it, it was really exciting for me to kind of add to a little piece of the puzzle as best as I could. Yeah, no, I think that's incredible. It's really, com really commendable. Thanks. I know when I was playing hooky, I was shooting monsters on video games so i might not, have done that on the side <laughs> maybe so um <laughs> i think it's really good to have you because yeah your background is so you know different and and you you appreciate and and black history month and and also you give back and i wanted to talk a little bit about um you know you you volunteered a lot and you did a lot for katrina in pittsburgh and yeah. just wanted to see what you've done and what you're doing now yeah uh Volunteering has just always been something that my heart has drawn to. 
Uh, we did a Katrina, we excuse me, we did a Katrina benefit concert in one of the biggest arenas in Pittsburgh, um, which granted me a key to the city from the mayor of Pittsburgh, which was really cool. Uh, and I was 15, so that was yeah. really nice. Uh, the Red Cross collabed with us, and my mom and dad and brother helped me put it together, and it was really exciting. We had huge names put it all together in Pittsburgh, and we had thousands of people there. It was huge. And we raised a lot of money for the benefit. Uh, since I've since I was in Rent, I had the opportunity to uh, collab with Friends Indeed, which was what Rent was based off of and written because of the support groups dealing with AIDS. And I, I dealt a lot with uh, their, their main headquarters out of Soho. And it was really, it was, it was actually around the same time that my grandmother passed, so it was really near and dear to my heart. And, and now they've opened up their doors to not only AIDS survivors, or people that have lost friends or family and or family and with the AIDS virus, but uh, to also cancer survivors and, and people that were lost. So I had the opportunity to do that and do the, and I do the AIDS walk every year. Um, and I just started with City Harvest, which is a great organization out of Brooklyn. Uh, it's a bit of a truck, but it's really worth it. We, we recently were there because of the theater and Broadway community as well. I was invited, which was amazing. I've had a lot of great experiences. Um, we packed uh, patches of potatoes and, um, and oranges and pears. And, we, and then they go out to families in need, and we, we packed over a ton. So each pack is actually, or each sack full of pear or whatever it is, feeds a family. So that was really nice to know that we, we fed over a couple hundred families yeah. within a, a couple hours. And it was fun and exciting. And, uh, and I just had the opportunity to be invited to a Woman Who Cares event um, hosted by Lorraine Arbus. And it is based off of the UCP Foundation, which is the United Cerebral Palsy Foundation. So I'm excited to get on board with them. But um, yeah. you know, all of these organizations are really important to me. So I'm just trying to find new ones. Yeah, no, you're staying connected and, <laughs> yeah. and getting involved with the community. I yeah, think you gotta great. get involved Definitely. or else nothing changes. Cool. So let's switch gears a little bit, talk about music. What's next for you? And uh, and then we'll we'll get, we'll get going. Well, I'm pumped to get back on the music train. Uh, I've been writing a lot and collabing with a lot of different producers and writers and musicians and just trying to open my mind to as many possibilities as I possibly can. Um, you know, I've, I've come across a lot of talented people within my short term of a career and I just keep opening more and more doors and I don't know how it's happening, but I'm really blessed. And uh, so I'm back in, back in the studio writing and hopefully busting out some new stuff and you could definitely check me around the city because I am booking shows everywhere around the city right now. And, um, and I just can't wait to get back on stage just with my group and do my thing. And I hope people like it. Cool. Well, I'm sure they will. Margo, if anyone could do anything, it's Margo. Um, <laughs> she puts her mind to something and it happens. So Thank thanks you. for being That's here. Nice. We're <laughs> really you. looking forward to having you here and uh, good luck with everything. Thank you. All right. <laughs> 